three years ago on Thanksgiving, I had an uh, insulin reaction at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I fell out of bed, I had a concussion, I had a seizure and went into AFib. And um, my doctor visited me at the hospital and said, I'm not burying another diabetic, you're getting a, an assist dog. This is Moxie, she is a black lab and she is a diabetic assist dog. Three days after I had her home with me, um, she woke me up at four o'clock in the morning. It just woke me up. I checked my blood sugar and it was 70, which isn't bad for me. So I laid back down, tried to go back to sleep. She wouldn't let me fall asleep. Just wouldn't let me fall asleep. And eventually I got back up and checked it again. It was 32. So she knew and told me. I just, I, for somebody who's not gone through something like that, I can't, I can't explain it. Um, to know that that security is there, all I can say is thank you. Um, and those two words are never, ever going to be enough, ever, to express how much she's changed my life, my family's life. My assistance dog is Bally, and she's a beautiful and brilliant black lab. Bally does a wonderful amount of things for me. For the body, she does all the physical things that I need, but more intangible and harder to describe is what they, how they nourish your spirit. It's amazing when you know the investment that they do make in each dog. It makes it even more of a gift that you feel very blessed to have received a dog that so much attention has been given to and so much love even before you get it. I was involved in an explosion when I was a police officer at work, and I had a brainstem injury. My seizures would go anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes, and my doctor said, you will die from these if we don't do something more aggressive. Brody is a seizure assist dog. He's a little bit different than the, the other seizure assist dogs here in that I have a vagus nerve implant in my chest here, and on Brody's collar, is a magnet that's the sister to this implant. And what Brody does for me is, once I seize, he crawls across my chest and he does his little snuggle here and the magnet hits the implant and knocks the seizure out immediately. Hi, this is Joel. Uh, Jewel is a rescue dog from Kansas, and she's a hearing assistant dog. One of the things is my hearing has gotten worse over the years. That's what I realized I really need someone that will alert me to sounds, and that makes me more secure when I know there's someone there that's listening for me. About 10 years ago, I had a fire in my house. If I was sleeping at the time, who knows what would have happened. But now, if that happens today, hey, I got her to protect me, right, Jewel? This is Savvy. She's our um, daughter Megan's autism assistance dog. Megan has autism, Tourette's, and obsessive compulsive disorder. Things were very unsafe in public. There have been times where she's wandered off when we're in a parking lot and there's a car coming. It actually happened recently and Savvy stopped her from getting in front of that car. It's just amazing. She's had that bond with Megan since the first time we took her out. Before Savvy, Megan used to have some pretty intense meltdowns. There have been times where we've gone out in public and it's happened and 
you know, where he would just pray. Somebody would come up and ask you if you need help, and people would. They would actually come up and say, can't you control your daughter? What a brat. Just very hurtful comments. And, you know, she may have autism, but she can hear her just fine. She's a very huge calming influence on Megan, and it just, as a parent, it makes us feel like we've done something really wonderful for our daughter.